circle introduction of circle draw circle using compass relation between the radius and the diameter measuring circumference relation between the diameter and the circumference my dear students our new lesson is circle circle hmm a pizza a car wheel a coin a merry go round each of shape is like a ring ring is a closed figure and every point on this closed loop is at the same distance from the center students this is circle O is the center of this circle. We call this circle as a circle of center O. Break the circle from any point on the circle. The straight distance is called circumference of circle. The distance between two ends is twelve centimeter. Therefore, circumference of circle O is twelve centimeter. circumference is denoted by c the segment joining center of circle and any point x on circumference is called radius of circle ox is radius of circle o this is a point a this is a point b now join a and b A segment joining any two points on circumference is called chord. AB is a chord of circle O. A chord passing through center of the circle is called diameter of circle. Now AB is the diameter of circle O. The length of the diameter of a circle is always twice the length of the radius. AO plus OB is equal to AB. To draw a circle of a given radius using a compass, draw a circle of four centimeter radius. Take a compass and fix a sharp pencil into it. Take a ruler. Fix the tip of the compass on the zero of the ruler. Now open the compass and adjust the pencil point on. 4 cm Hold the upper tip of the compass and place the compass point firmly on the blank sheet of the paper Now turn the compass slowly so that the pencil tip draws the circle Make center point of circle as P Take point A on the circumference on the circle Now draw segment AB Segment AP will be four centimeter. Relation between the radius and the diameter of a circle. Dear students, to find the relation between the radius and the diameter of a circle, let us observe the following activity. Draw a circle on paper sheet and cut it along the curved edge. The center of a circle is P. Draw diameter AB. Now full circle through diameter AB as shown. Observe carefully. Now it is folding at point P, so that segment PA will coincide with segment PB. We can see that segment PA is coincided with segment PB, and the same time point B. is also coincided with point p it means that segment pa and segment pb are of equal length measure the length of segment pa segment pb and diameter ab we can see that radius pa or radius pb is half of the diameter ab measuring circumference as we are now aware that the circumference is the length of the circle this length we cannot measure with the help of ruler since circumference is curved we can measure circumference of the circle by string fix one end of string at any point of the circle 
Take the string round the circle up to fixed point. Keep holding the string. Straight the string and measure the length of it with the help of the ruler. This length of string is the appropriate measurement of the circumference. Relation between the diameter and the circumference of a circle. These are three circles of centers A, B and C of respective diameters 6 cm, 14 cm and 9 cm. Now measure the circumference of each circle one by one. 20 cm, 45 cm and 30 cm. In each case, we noticed that the circumference is a little more than three times the length of the diameter. Therefore, we can say that the circumference of the circle is approximately three times of its diameter. We use C for circumference of the circle. And what will be the diameter if we know the circumference of the circle? Very simple. Diameter is approximately equal to the circumference by 3. My dear students, in this lesson we have learnt Introduction of circle Draw circle using compass Relation between the radius and the diameter Measuring circumference and relation between the diameter and the circumference. So that is all in this lesson students. Keep learning and have a good day.